hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i got a pr package from crafts by nine and i'm so excited because now my favorite 3xl square no c curve tips are available in the box and i just love the box that they come in they did launch like october 1st i believe with them available in the box and i'm so so excited because just look how pretty this box is here's the little crafts by nine stickers you do get four 420 pieces and as you can see it says 3xl no c curve tips and this is how they look inside the box um i'm going to give you guys a closer look because i just want everyone to have these tips especially if you want longer nails if you love long nails also if you prefer the square with no c curve i know the c curve can be like kind of intimidating if you aren't used to it that's why i always go for the flat but here's a closer look of what it looks like overall now these are my favorite tips so i do recommend you try these if you haven't already i do have a discount code that you guys can use on her website um and this is the previous ones that i got they are in the bags and if you know trying to pick out these nails every time i do a nail set is just so time consuming especially when you have to unzip the bag you have to take the nail out and stuff like that yeah i just love that it's in the box now also in the box that she sent me is one of her limited custom halloween glitter acrylics and she did send this to me like mid october so i know i am late this is literally like the last day of october and hopefully i am able to get this up for you guys but yeah she did send me over one of her limited edition halloween glitter acrylics and she did have four in total i know she did have a sale on her website where you can get all four of them for only 15 dollars. so if that is available i will We'll leave her website down below for you to check out and yeah this is what it looks like it's just a really pretty simple black acrylic mix which is perfect for halloween so yeah let's just go ahead and swatch it out i am using the not polished low odor monomer which is my favorite monomer to use whenever i use any acrylics because it is like universal and so here is the first swatch when i've swatched the first one it was really opaque and everything so i did want to swatch it again using like less powder just so that if you want a more like less opaque look this is how it would look yeah so if you are interested in the tips that i showed or the acrylic glitter mixes if you want to check out the other colors i will have everything linked down below for you guys to check out and now i am just going to be sizing out my nail tips and this was just so much faster um i feel like once i like get the hang of what size go for my nails i can just easily take them out and like it's just so much easier in the box like i love this box it's so cute and the quality of the box is actually pretty good as well and i do want to say i feel like this voiceover is everywhere it's kind of early because i want to make sure that i get this up and let it upload to youtube before the before today is over with it's the last day of october so i just want to go ahead and get this video up for you guys to see before we start getting into the fall and christmas designs so i'm just gluing these onto my nails using my kira sky glue and i do have a pull off base of course as always that is the shininess on my nails if you are wondering if you're new and this is only for if you want to practice on your nails if you practice a lot or if you don't want them to last as long this is the only reason you should be doing this but if you do want your nails to last make sure that you go in and prep your natural nails and dehydrate remove all of that shine and remove all of the cuticles from the nail plate and i just can't get over how scratchy my voice sounds like it's so early and i'm just trying to get this video up so i do apologize if i sound weird but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and glue these nails on now that i have all of my nails applied i am gonna take my nail tip cutter and just cut them down just a little bit um i was just gonna cut off the numbers of the nails but i thought i wouldn't go as long because it was already getting kind of late and i just figured like a longer set of nails would have took extra long so i am just making sure they are around the same length because of course once we apply them and do all of our shaping and filing we will go back in and file so i don't want them to be too short so i do cut them a little bit longer than what i actually want them to be and then once i'm done cutting them down i am going to be taking a base coat and just going over my natural nails and where i glue on the nail tip if you have been watching my videos you know exactly why i do this but if you are new it's just to reinforce the nails so when i go to file the nails won't pop off since i am using the peel off method and i did cure that in the light so it's nothing else left to do but go in with that application so i am going to be using the glitter of course and i'm going to be doing an ombre so i'm just going to focus this glitter like right on the tips of the nails and this first bead when i placed it i was like it's so runny i used too much monomer and didn't pick up enough um 
acrylic so i'm just gonna focus on smoothing this out notice i didn't go straight into like the middle section of the bead because if i did since it is so runny it would have just like made a mess so i am just kind of blending out like the edges of it and just making it smooth and once it dries a little bit i'll go back in and just kind of move that around but for my second bead i did drain out my brush just a little bit and use a little bit less monomer and as you can see it worked so much better and there is two ways you can apply this glitter you can apply it where it's like a lot of glitter where it just looks like a black nail but for this set i didn't want it to look like that i wanted it to have like little clear parts in it to where you can kind of see through the glitter so i'm not going to pack it on as much and also i am trying to keep it a little thin because i am going to be encapsulating i'm going to be doing an ombre and then i have to go back in and encapsulate that so i'm keeping this glitter section very very thin just making sure it covers what i want it to cover So now that I have the tip of the nail done, I am going to be taking the sequin pieces and these are from the Halloween collection that launched with Macara last year. Um, it has a lot of different little thingies in there, but for this nail design, I wanted to go with the pumpkins and like some stars. This nail set did not turn out how I, I pictured in my mind, so I was kind of having trouble with it. But here I'm just picking out a few sequin pieces that I may use, that I plan on using or could potentially use. Um, and so once I did that, I was going to apply them using the clear acrylic. So I pulled out my Mia Secret Clear and then I just put a bead where I want the sequin piece to go. But these were so big, it was so hard to lay down. And this part was so frustrating because it took me like 30 minutes trying to like see how I'm going to do these. And like once I couldn't get them to lay down, I was just going to use the little silicone light where you cure on flat to your nails. So once I finished this, I just went back in to do the rest of the glitter nails because I did need to find more batteries and I was kind of lazy. So I just went in with the glitters and I'll do that part later. So yeah, for now, I am just going to let you guys enjoy the process of me putting on all of the glitters on all of the tips. I am going to do all of my nails the same. I didn't have like an accent nail just because I felt like the design within itself was like overall pretty good. So I'm just going to be doing some encapsulation using this glitter at the tips of the nails. If you are watching, I do want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video being with me today um if you haven't subscribed and like yet please make sure to go ahead and do so if you are new make sure that you leave a comment saying i'm new that way i can personally welcome you to the channel and for today's video like i said i am going to be doing one of my last halloween designs i do have another video that was for another video but i'm not sure if i should post it just because it is halloween theme so let me know if i can sneak in just one more halloween design with you guys after this one it probably won't be like super long just because halloween nails are over but just let me know if you guys don't mind one more halloween design um i think you guys are gonna like it it's pink black and glittery and also i just don't want that video to like go to waste so like you know it's content and i'm trying to be as consistent as possible but yeah today is october 31st so it is halloween happy halloween i do want to know like what do you guys plan to do if you plan on going trick-or-treating or if you have kids are you taking them or are you in some of your friends just having like a little get together or going to halloween party um i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing i'll probably just like watch movies and stuff with my sister probably have like some snacks and everything um because like for trick-or-treating here they don't really go like door to door anymore they kind of have like stuff like before the actual day of halloween they'll have like gatherings at the school where parents who want to volunteer or like the um school staff they can put the candies in the trunks and just have all of the cars lined up that way all of the kids can be dressed in costumes and just go trunk to trunk instead of going door to door which is actually called trunk or treat instead of going trick or treat it's called trunk or treat because they're getting the candies from the trunks um and they also have them at churches as well it's just to keep the kids safe because like it's been getting so crazy lately there's been stories where like people poison candy and hopefully that's not none of anyone's cases this halloween i hope you guys are all safe but that's just how they kind of do it now i guess you can still go door to door if you choose to but 
for the parents who want to keep their kids safe i feel like that is a great alternative instead of going like trick-or-treating door to door and yeah it's basically just to keep the kids safe so i probably won't be doing anything like that i'll probably just stay in and watch some movies and speaking of movies i tried to watch um the nightmare before christmas I just wanted to like watch it before October is over with. I started to watch it late last night and I actually went to sleep on it so I have to re-watch it. So like I said when I did that nail set I did plan to like watch it since a lot of you guys like it and since it is one of your favorite Halloween movies I do make it my mission to watch it so I am going to try to re-watch it today. But yeah so here are how the nails are looking. I did not plan to talk that entire time but yeah this is how the nails are looking. I did do my camera I mean I did do my thumb off camera as always and then I went back in trying to like do the acrylic section to like get these to stay down um eventually I did just have to like use the acrylic because the batteries I found they weren't working and I couldn't find any more so that's gonna be on my shopping list to get some more triple a batteries and like it was just so frustrating because I just could not get these to lay down and then I just kind of took a break I just like pushed back my chair and just I just took a break to regroup and once I couldn't get them on I did remember that I can just bend them or try to bend them because these are kind of like a little bit stiff than the normal ones so I did try everything to try to get these to lay down and eventually in a second you will see me taking like the sequin piece and just wrapping it around my brush and just kind of molding it into like a round shape And see after this attempt i was kind of frustrated that's the part where i got frustrated and i was honestly going to stop so off camera i did just go ahead and finish this nail just to see if it's what i wanted um it's not exactly what i was picturing in my mind but i did just keep going because like i felt like they did have potential so that's just how i'm going to be doing all of my nails um so here you can see me taking the sequin piece and just wrapping it around the top of my acrylic brush um eventually i will switch to some tweezers because it is a little bit smaller which make the curve a little bit more defined that's how i got them to bend and this is what it looks like um and i was also looking for like my little molder thing but i couldn't find it where you put a sequin piece in there and it mold for you i was looking for that but i couldn't find it but in the end it did eventually work for me so i am just going to be applying them with the acrylic molding them how i did with my acrylic brush and that was so much more easier so yeah, that's just what i'm going to be doing i did decide on using two pumpkins a white and a orange one and then also i took like some little stars just to kind of fill in the space and give it a little bit more to the nail set but yeah that's just how i'm going to be applying them and for the rest of this application i am just going to let you guys enjoy it since i have been talking a little bit too much um, unless I have to come back and say something else, I'm just going to let this part play out. So please make sure if you are enjoying the video to go ahead and give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said before, I did eventually switch over to my tweezers. Since it is smaller, it makes the sequin piece wrap around a little bit better. And my apologies for this part being out of frame. I did speed it up a little bit more than the other one since you can barely see what's going on. But I'm just adding on the white pumpkin below the orange one. So now that I've added my stars, the color that I'm going to be doing my ombre with is called Nude Panther from Not Polish. One of my favorite nudes and even though this is a smaller jar, like it's almost empty. That's just how much I use it. And I'm just simply going to be doing an ombre, just ombre in this color down onto the um, glitters and the sequin pieces. Making sure that it's an even blend or as neat as I can get it. Um, but basically I just put like a little bead right there in the center of my nail bed and just lightly blend it down and then I'll kind of work backwards going back to my cuticle area and building up my apex. If it is too low I will just kind of wipe it like I did here and just blend it down a little bit more and that's just how I do my ombres and super simple I'm just going to be doing that for this nail and then I'll go back into applying my pumpkins and my star sequences.
I did just want to mention right here like I didn't realize the color from the purple stars were like bleeding off every time I would hit it like with my monomer so um I don't know if it's like I believe it is here I did apply some base coat instead of using the um monomer and some clear acrylic because as you can see like on my middle nail like the color just kind of faded off to where it kind of looks more silver and for the first one I'm not sure I thought it was just like changing colors but I do think I accidentally picked up blue stars instead of a purple I thought it was changing color at first but once I got like more to finishing the nails the more I worked with it and like kind of saw it I do think like those the first ones are blue and the colors just came off the middle fingers so I did try to prevent that instead of using the monomer I tried to use some base coat and cure it on and then also I went back over it with some base coat just to make sure that once I go to encapsulate it wouldn't be affected or the color would not fade and you can kind of still see like some of the bleeding from the purple stars but the color wasn't gone completely which was the goal in trying to prevent so I wasn't too mad about that I just went ahead and continued doing my nails so now I am just gonna let you guys finish watching this process and until I come back to encapsulate. So this is how the nails are looking so far and like I said you can see like the base coat where I tried to prevent the colors from fading but now I am just going to be encapsulating. I am going to be starting with my middle finger since I already encapsulated my pointer finger off camera because I like I said I didn't know if I wanted to finish it so that one is already done and I did try to use like the one beat method which made it go by a little bit faster than um, adding like smaller beads so I did try. And you can see here where the purple star is like faded to where it looked more of like a lavender, soft purple, more silver. So I'm just going to be encapsulating the nails once again, just letting it play out.
Once I did all of my encapsulation, this is how the nails are looking. Of course, I did my thumb off camera as always. And I don't know how I feel about the blue in there. I kind of feel like it gave it a little bit more character, but I was going for like purple, um, like the classic Halloween colors, black, purple, and orange, maybe a little bit white. Um, I did file off camera, but I did decide to keep in the buffing part. I am using the cuticle oil method just to make sure these nails are extra smooth. And I do go in with one of my buffers and just make sure to like really, really get in the nail, make sure to really scrub it to remove all of the scratches. And I kind of don't know where I went wrong because like in the finished set, you will see a lot of like white stuff on the nail. I'm not sure if it was like inside the acrylic or on top. I'm pretty sure it wasn't on top. I like, I don't know. I'm just kind of confused because like you'll see like some little white stuff onto the nail and I really made sure to work with wetter beads with the clear because if you work with wetter beads using clear it is a lot more clear than using drier beads because the monomer doesn't hit all of like the powder which makes it foggy if that makes sense but so yeah here's how the nails are looking it's probably the buffing on top I don't know like but this is how the nails look once I finished and now I'm not going to be doing any nail art so the only thing left to do is add my top coat and once I finish this I will be showing you guys the finished look So once I cured on my top coat, today I'm going to be using some new cuticle oil from Nails by Rosalie. I think I'm saying her name right. Hopefully I am. Um, but she's such a sweetheart. She used to post YouTube content, but now she is a licensed nail tech, I believe. So she focused more on her clients. She posted these on her IG store for like her clients. And I was like, hey girl, can I have one? If you don't want to ship it, it's okay. And she said I could. So I did like send her the money and she sent me some. Um... I paid for two of them, which were only like $3 for each. And she did send me an extra one, so thank you so much. Um, and I just love how they are in like the little lip gloss rolly things. Because I have grown to like, like the ones that you don't really have to like squeeze onto your nails. That way you can manage how much you want. Like I love these and also the ones that you brush on. But these are just so, so pretty. And like the female slices makes it so cute. But yeah, this is how my nails turned out. And I really love how they turned out. It wasn't quite what I was picturing in my mind. But like I said, it is still very cute. I love the ombre and the little pumpkins and stars are just so cute. Um, I kind of feel like you can't really see like the black glitter behind it, but you still kind of get the point. I did like the glitters. It's just a black simple glitter, which I really like. The consistency was amazing. Um, but yeah, so this is how my nails look. Let me know if you enjoy one of my last Halloween designs. Also, let me know if it's okay to put one more video up for you guys. Um, and just sneak that in there. It probably won't go up today. It'll probably be up like November 2nd or I'll probably like try to get it up on the 1st. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is how my nails turn out. Let me know what you guys think about today's nail set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.